Left-handedness has always been a bit of a curveball in the human story, swinging between intrigue and misunderstanding. Older lefties often share tales of being nudged, sometimes literally toward their right hand, as being a lefty was seen as odd, improper, or just plain bad luck. Even today, in some places, kids are gently, or not so gently, steered toward their proper hand. The word right itself doesn't help, tied to ideas of virtue and correctness in many languages, including English. But if being a lefty has faced so much resistance, why hasn't it disappeared? What's behind this southpaw preference, and could there be hidden evolutionary perks or pitfalls? The Curious Case of Left-Handedness Approximately 10% of the global population today is left-handed, and evidence suggests this proportion has remained consistent for at least half a million years. Archaeological findings, such as variations in bone structure and arm use in ancient remains, demonstrate that left-handedness has been a stable trait in human evolution. Tools and artifacts from ancient times also bear marks of left-hand usage, highlighting that left-handers have long been part of our history. Interestingly, handedness is not a matter of choice, but rather a trait that can often be observed before birth. The position of a fetus in the womb can predict which hand will become dominant. However, the question remains if handedness is innate, is it genetic? The Role of Genetics in Handedness The genetic basis of handedness is a fascinating and intricate subject. While identical twins share identical genetic material, they can still have different dominant hands, highlighting the role of non-genetic factors in determining handedness. This phenomenon occurs with similar frequency in non-twin siblings, providing further evidence that genes alone do not fully dictate whether an individual becomes left or right-handed. Environmental influences, prenatal conditions, and developmental factors all play a role in shaping handedness. Nevertheless, genetics significantly impacts the likelihood of being left-handed, with family history serving as a reliable indicator. Research has consistently shown that parental handedness influences the odds in predictable ways. For instance, a child with a left-handed father and a right-handed mother has a 17% chance of being left-handed. Meanwhile, the likelihood drops to about 10% for children of two right-handed parents. These patterns suggest that genetic predispositions act as a foundational framework, setting the probabilities, while other factors determine the outcome. The Evolutionary Perspective Competition versus Cooperation the consistent presence of left-handed individuals throughout human history points to its evolutionary significance. A recent mathematical model suggests that the ratio of left-handed to right-handed individuals is shaped by a balance between competitive and cooperative forces during evolution. This balance explains why left-handedness has neither vanished entirely nor become the dominant trait. In competitive scenarios, such as combat or sports, Left-handed individuals often enjoy a strategic advantage due to their rarity. This phenomenon, known as negative frequency dependent selection, means that left-handers can surprise opponents who are more accustomed to facing right-handed adversaries. However, if competition alone drove evolution, the left-handed population would grow significantly until this advantage diminished due to increased familiarity. On the other hand, Cooperative pressures work against left-handedness by favoring traits that align with the majority. In tool-sharing societies, for example, the right-handed dominance in tool design has historically made it easier for right-handers to succeed. These cooperative dynamics counterbalance the advantages gained in competitive environments, maintaining the small yet stable minority of left-handed individuals. This equilibrium underscores the complex interplay between competition and cooperation in shaping human evolution, with left-handedness serving as a prime example of how diversity contributes to the adaptability and resilience of our species. The Competitive Edge The advantages of left-handedness are most evident in situations involving direct competition. In sports or combat, where participants face off against one another, left-handed individuals often have the upper hand. For example, about half of the top hitters in baseball are left-handed. This phenomenon, known as the fighting hypothesis, suggests that the rarity of left-handed individuals provides a strategic surprise advantage. 
Since most people are right-handed, competitors predominantly train against right-handed opponents. Consequently, when a right-handed individual faces a left-hander, the unfamiliar dynamic can throw them off. Meanwhile, the left-handed competitor has had ample experience contending with right-handed adversaries, giving them a unique advantage. This principle is an example of negative frequency-dependent selection, where the rarity of a trait makes it beneficial. However, if competitive pressures were the only driving force, the population of left-handed individuals would grow significantly, eventually reaching a point where the advantage diminishes. The Cooperative Challenge Human evolution, however, is not solely shaped by competition. Cooperation has been equally critical in the development of societies. Cooperative pressures push the population distribution in the opposite direction, favoring the majority's handedness for practical reasons. In activities like tool use or golf, where performance does not involve a direct opponent, left-handedness offers no inherent advantage. For instance, only 4% of top golfers are left-handed. This disparity can be attributed to the widespread availability of right-handed tools and equipment. Societal practices, such as the design of essential instruments to suit the right-handed majority, further reinforce this trend. Left-handed individuals may face challenges in adapting to these tools, resulting in higher accident rates and lower efficiency. In a world dominated by cooperation and tool sharing, these disadvantages could lead to fewer left-handed individuals over time. The Equilibrium of Left-Handedness The coexistence of competitive and cooperative forces creates a delicate balance. The mathematical model that predicts the distribution of left-handed individuals aligns with data from various fields, including sports and general population statistics. This equilibrium ensures that left-handedness remains a small yet stable minority in human societies. Interestingly, these principles are not unique to humans. Studies on animals also reveal handedness-like tendencies, or podness, influenced by similar evolutionary pressures. Cooperative species exhibit a more pronounced skew toward a dominant side, while competitive environments show a slightly higher percentage of left-handed individuals. In hunter-gatherer societies, where survival often depended on competition with predators or rivals, the proportion of left-handers was slightly higher than in modern cooperative societies. These insights offer a glimpse into the evolutionary dynamics that have shaped human-handedness over millennia. Left-handedness in modern society Today, left-handed individuals navigate a world designed predominantly for right-handers. From scissors and can openers to computer mice and musical instruments, many tools and devices cater to the majority. This can pose practical challenges for left-handed individuals, requiring them to adapt or seek specialized equipment. Despite these hurdles, left-handers have made remarkable contributions across various fields. Studies suggest that left-handed individuals may exhibit enhanced creativity and problem-solving skills, potentially due to the unique ways their brains are wired. This neurological distinction arises from differences in how the left and right hemispheres of the brain interact, which may also explain the disproportionate representation of left-handers in certain professions, such as arts and sports. Thanks for watching. If you're left-handed, congrats, you might just be the plot twist evolution needed. And if you're right-handed, well, you're statistically average, but we still love you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, because no matter which hand you use, clicking that button is always the right move.